Welcome back to Food Finders. I'm Seth. I'm Erica, and today's episode is about chili crab. Even though I'm Singaporean, I didn't eat chili crab till I was like what 17. <laughs> Ever since I ate it, it was kind of life changing, especially with deep fried mantou. Like chili crab is an iconic Singapore dish. The origin of Singapore's chili crab actually starts from pushcarts along the coast of Singapore and then eventually evolved into the modern day version of chili crab that we have today. So without further ado, let's go to our first destination. So we're here at Long Beach Seafood at Stevens Road. Long Beach is actually the creator of black pepper crab. They even have a trademark for it. Long Beach has like five outlets across Singapore as well. We have this really big majestic crab over here. This is actually a Sri Lankan mud crab. This is a 1.6 kg crab, yes, right? Yes, 1.6 kg. Which is a little bit more on the pricier side because it's actually $98 per kg. But you actually get a deshelling service. For those of you who don't want to get your hands messy, the restaurant here actually would deshell the entire crab for you. With yes. no additional charge. This one is a deep fried manto and this one is the steamed one. This is the biggest crab I've seen. Like, I've never eaten such a huge crab before. Look at the size of those pincers. Like, wow, mm. Mm. size matters. Can you take spicy? I do prefer if it's there is spicier. some amount of spice. More chili than tomato. But this depends on like different restaurants uh, and like what's their style. I think this amount of spice is good. Yum, all that spicy. Oh, is it too spicy, right? This one is like a little bit spicier. I'm okay with it. I prefer yeah. the sweeter chilies. It's supposed to be like chili crab, not tomato crab. Stop getting yes. on me. We're gonna try out the deshelling <laughs> service. You might as well <laughs> use the Make service your here. Worth. Yeah, unless you really like deshelling your own crabs. So I'm gonna take my first okay. bite. Oh my god, it's really good. The meat is really thick dense, firm, it's like it worked out or something. You can see that the meat actually fills out the shell and you can tell from the claw, it's very worn out. That means like the crab has been picking food around a lot. I yeah. mean, it <laughs> ate a lot, so it's like a fat crab. I really love it. So it's a combination of good quality crabs with proper cooking techniques. Then you get this effect of having the meat just fall off from the shell. I am gonna try the sauce with the manto. Crispy on the outside and then soft and fluffy on the inside. My eyes died and went to heaven. That's so good. There's a nice contrast between the denseness of the gravy and then like the fluffiness and softness of the manto. My final verdict would be a 4.5. It's like a little bit more on the pricier side. It is hella pricey, man. Hella pricey. So that's why I can't give it like a full 5.5. But apart from the price, I think it's really, really delicious. I would give this a 5 on 5. This is probably one of the best chili crabs I've had. It's a bit on the pricier side, but you get what you pay for. Let's go on and check out the other crab places. So we're here at Blue Lotus at Tanjong Paga. The concept is a modern twist on Chinese cuisine. They're trying to make Chinese cuisine sexy again. So this is their signature dish, which is pomelo chili crab. It's one of their best sellers. What makes it unique, of course, is the pomelo added in. Unlike the traditional chili crab, where there's a lot of emphasis on tomato, a lot of it is on the herbs that they mix in and also the chilies that they use. So they use the Carolina Reaper and the ghost pepper as well. You can actually get three different levels of spiciness. Personally, I am not a fan of pomelo itself. Yeah, I like pomelo. I can see how the pomelo bits would help to even out, give a bit more acidity, give a bit more sweetness to the spicy kick of the chili. Pricing wise, it's about $90 per kg. This is one kg. Is it very spicy? It's fun. This sauce is very different from the usual chili crab sauce. It tastes more like a peranakan curry. You can actually taste like the, the sliced chili, you know. A lot thicker. I've only had like one bite, but it could be the weather uh, or the chili, but I am sweating already. This is actually level one. I think we are supposed to try it with the, no. uh, the pomelo now. It does go well. Wow, it does. Sour. I'm very surprised. By itself, it might be a bit overwhelming, but with the pomelo balances out, quite nice. I don't like pomelo. Chili here, it's not bad, it's quite nice together. It's pretty interesting, I would say. I've never tasted chili crab like this before. Definitely an interesting twist to it. That's a lot more depth, like a refreshing feel to the sauce, which is otherwise very heavy. I actually thought I wouldn't no, like it. Ain't no deshelling service here. <laughs> but do it yourself. I like how like the meat tears out from the shell. Good quality crabs prepared the right way. When you tear out like the leg, you can actually tear out the meat from the chamber itself. Very sweet flesh. It tastes good. It's a very unique sauce, definitely. It's like really bordering on, do I call it a chili crab or like sambal crab? Crab. So now I'm gonna try their deep fried manto with the chili crab sauce. And because the sauce is not as starchy, <laughs> <laughs> the sauce is not as starchy as other places, so it kind of doesn't stick 
to the bun as much. The sauce and the, like the manto doesn't go together, you know. I like the manto bun by itself. I like how it's a little bit firmer. My final verdict for this would be like a 3.5 upon 5. But it's mostly because I prefer to have my chili crab sweet. And it's really like my own personal preference. The more you eat it, the spicier it gets. And I feel like my lips are already becoming a little numb. It's something new. If you guys are bored with the typical chili crab around Singapore, I would highly recommend this. I'd give this a 4.5. I think I've had a fair amount of uh, chili crab in Singapore. And this is really unique for people who've had a lot of different chili crabs and they want to try something new. So we're done with this place. Let's go to the next one. So we're here at Melbourne Signature at Tanjong Pagar. Plaza. This is a family-run business for over 20 plus years. They're packed almost every night and they sell about 70 to 80 kg of crab every day. Melbourne is really popular. Every time I try to walk in, it's like a good 30 minutes to like one hour wait. You can actually also choose your own crabs. So the selling price is $90 for every kg. Most of the times it's Sri Lankan. I think that's like kind of the gold standard for mud crabs in Singapore already. Here we have their yeah, signature chili crab. This is one kilo. You were saying that it looks really metal. The way they present it, like <laughs> they stuff legs and the body into your skin. Skull, you know. Sauce wise, you can see so much egg. I think they added like a shit ton of eggs. It does look a bit starchy though. It's kind of jelly ish. Then on the sweeter side, isn't this the kind that you like? Yes, but it's a little too sweet for me. Like, really, when I first tried it, right, immediately I was like, whoa, tomato. tomato. <laughs> so I'm not a huge fan of the texture of the gravy already right. because I feel like it's very close to like a jelly consistency. Okay. I agree, like, it's a bit too like uh... solid. Ooh, that's cool. It looks huge. Oh, yeah, this is gonna get messy, man. Oh man, there's really hard shells. Good thing is, the shell comes off really clean -ish. Wow, you did such a good job. Wow, that's a beautiful, beautiful claw. Beautiful. So beautiful. I like it. Nice, right? Crab is great. It's actually very juicy. It just sucks at taking out crab meat. You can see from the claw, right? It's a pretty clean claw. It's not scarred and like, this guy has not been eating yeah. as much. So it's slightly hollow, but very fresh, definitely. Here you actually do get to pick your own crab, so you can try to look for that. The flesh itself is very light flaky and it's not as firm. It goes well with the manto though. Because of the starchiness, like it kind of sticks onto the manto really well. It looks like a jam. The outside is this crispy skin and inside is still the fluffy bread. My final verdict would be 4 upon 5. The gravy stand alone, too overpowering in the tomato base. Like it needs the crepe and the manto to balance it out. And also because of the jelly-like texture. What he said? too starchy for me, a bit too sweet as well. I prefer a bit more chilli or spice. The crabs are really fresh though, but this is a very typical Singapore chilli crab style. I think a lot of places have crabs that taste like this. I would give it like a 3, 3 upon 5 probably. We are done here, let's claw our way to the next place. So we're now here at Red House Princess Street. They sell their crab here for $88 per kg. They don't just get the normal, you know, Sri Lankan mud crab. They can also get you the Scottish brown crab. So this one here is 1.2 kg. If you get the 1.8 kg and above, they can actually split it to two different flavors. They also pride themselves in using fresh produce. The tomato puree, for example, is made from fresh tomatoes. Wow, this crab is drowning in gravy. <laughs> Definitely great if you like manto or you like drizzling over your rice. There's a copious amount of chilli crab sauce here for you to dip and, I don't know, wash your face in or whatever <laughs> you want to do with it. Okay, sauce test. We got our fancy bibs on. Oh wow, that was a journey. When I first tasted it, it was sweet tomato, then suddenly sour, and then for the tail end, it became spicy. It tastes a lot more natural. You don't get like the canned bottled ketchup kind of flavours. This is the kind of spiciness that I'm alright with. It's sweet, sour and spicy. I think it's very balanced la, in terms of flavour. It's not overly starchy as well. Oh, it's just here, here. It doesn't stick to the shell. That's my pet peeve with eating crabs. I think you can see like the meat kind of fills the shell. Oh I'm sorry, are you okay? Ooh, it came out nice. <laughs> Yum. This one is a bit more on the firmer side for the flesh, but it's still very thick and juicy. The sauce is great. I like the sauce. It's like the most balanced sauce so far. The manto itself, <laughs> I am not, not in breath. It's like so dense. It's not fluffy. I'm so sorry, but this is a disappointing bite of manto. I prefer my manto to be on the denser side, but this one is just a bit too dense right now where like, I actually have a hard time swallowing it. <laughs> So my final verdict is 4.5 because of the manto and that's it. Because I feel that the price is really good. I would give this 4.5. I would give top marks for the crab. They just need to improve their bun. Hope you're not feeling too crabby because we still got more crab places to go to. So we're here at Kang Enki Seafood at Alexandra Road. This has been around for about 40 years and all the recipes are passed down from generation to generation. This one has been the original recipe ever since. 
they focus a lot more on the home style dining so it's very casual it is the epitome of a zhizha restaurant that's done really well very very popular with a lot of locals they've also won the Michelin plate here we have the one kg crab their pricing is 80 dollars per kg they use a mix of crabs can be sri lankan can be from indonesia can be from philippines depends on the supplier at the moment this one is a special kind of fluffy manto and they only serve the steamed one eight dollars per kilo is the cheapest that we've encountered throughout this this entire day. Okay, sauce. Wow, it's really, really sweet. I know I said I like it sweeter, but it's really sweet. <laughs> it's really sweet. Getting a lot of the ketchup taste. It's so tomatoey. Kids can eat this. But I really like the texture. I'm gonna go for the claw this time. I feel pretty neutral about it. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's alright. I definitely understand the appeal, like what they're trying to say, home style dining where the whole family can enjoy it together. It won't be spicy for the kids. Falls apart pretty easily. Doesn't stick to the shell. I'll say this is a very entry level chili crab. If Every you've never had chili crab before, oh. like this would be a good place to start. It's really soft. I like it. This bread goes really well with the sauce. I thought that the gravy was a bit too sweet and sour. But with the steamed manto, I think it's a plus point because with this together, it balances out pretty well. Manto sauce combination, I think King Eki has it the best. I would give it a 3.5 upon 5. This is really suitable for people who have never had chili crab ever. A bit too sweet for my liking. Same for me, I'll give it a 3.5 as well because of personal preference once again. It was really too sweet and sour for me and my taste buds. But the plus points definitely was the steamed manto. So we've come to the end of our crab journey. My favourite chilli crab, hands down, has to be at Long Beach. I know it's not an everyday thing because of the price, but taste-wise, quality, I think it hit all the right spots for me. I would say it's a tie between Red House and Long Beach. The only reason why Red House was not my first pick ahead of Long Beach was probably because of the manto. And that's all that we have for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments what you would like us to try next. See you guys! Bye! Bye.